Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Me Today I'm going to show you how to download Xenia Canary for the Xbox. So here I'm going to have the link in the pinned comment. Now for this, all you got to do is type this in on the Microsoft Edge browser on your Xbox. Click on open. Now for this, it's going to open the Xbox Microsoft Store. All you got to do is click on install. Once you hit install, make sure to open the app. Currently, if you try to open the app, the app will crash after a couple of seconds. In the description, I will have a download link to the configuration file that you need. I will be adding a pre-recorded video that I made. It is the same way of how to add the configuration file. So don't be confused if you see me talking about the 007 fix. It is the same way. Right, so we're going to open up FTP. If you guys are new and you've never used FTP, all you got to do is on the right side where it says addresses of this device. The second to last row of numbers such as mine says 10.0.0.39 that would be what yours is this is for mine specifically but that's where your numbers would be and you would input that to the filezilla as i'm showing here now for the username and password you don't have to worry about it but for the port make sure you put the port for what your durango ftp is on your xbox mine says 21 so i'm going to use 21 click ok and then we're going to click on local folder now on this right side you can see dates added and for this, you could see the most recent app that you just downloaded and the folders were created. So this is how I found my Xenia folder pretty fast. So here, February, this was two days ago. So this is how I know it's Xenia. Now click on this, go to local state. If you go to the bottom, you could see that there is Xenia files like this. Delete the configuration file on our Xenia folder on Xbox. And once we do that, what we're gonna do is go back to our desktop. We're gonna go to that golden eye fix that we downloaded earlier. You're gonna open the folder. And then what you're going to do is you're going to drag that xenia.config folder right into FTP where we deleted the config file. And then once you do that, you're pretty much good. All right, so I'm going to have a link in the description. It's going to have this Google Drive link. So what you want to do is just download this ISO to God. What this is going to do is convert your Xbox 360 ISO files into the XEX files. And you need this to play on the Xenia on Xbox. If you don't convert your ISOs, it will not run. If you can find the games in the XEX format, then you should be good. But otherwise, just download this. And then once you download that, it will look like this. All right, now what we're going to do is double click on the ISO to God. Open it. We're going to click on this plus add ISO. We're going to go to image location at the top. Click on browse. Look for your ISO file. Well, I'm going to use Ultimate and Kaichi. And then for the temporary location for rebuild ISO, we're going to put this into our USB drive and our 360 games folder. And we're going to do the same thing for the output location. And then once you do this, click on add ISO. Your ISO is now added. Now at the top right here, click on this convert and then just give it some time and then let the app just do its magic and just uh, hang out for a bit. I bet now that that's finished, let's just pull up our USB folder. This is where my Xbox 360 games would be. If it pulls up the ISO of the game, you could just delete that. Um, if you click on the program and look at the title ID 4E4, so this would be our Ultimate Tenkaichi game. So it would be this one right here. What you can do is you could rename the folder. So I'm just going to rename it to DBZ just for the video. So now that I renamed this, what we're gonna do is plug our USB back into the Xbox and we're gonna test the game out. There's no menu at the moment, so this is how it's gonna look. The controllers are already auto-configured, obviously because it's a 360 emulator and this is on the Xbox. So what you're gonna do is go to your games folder for your 360, and we'll go to that DBZ. So the folders are gonna look like this, but don't worry about it. Just click on the folder inside. And then once you get to this, where it says the dot data, and this other file right here, it's this right here. This will be the game. So we're going to click on this and make sure it works. Load it right into the game. This is currently a beta, so don't worry if the game stutters. Or if you have any problems with any games, just test out different games and see which ones work good.
So at the moment there is no quick menu. Save states do work, so if you just save in the game, it will save. And yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if I figure out the configuration settings whenever we get more updates about this emulator for Xbox, I'll definitely let you guys know. But for this, I just wanted to show you guys how to get the games running so you could test it out and try it yourself. But yeah, man, I hope this helped. If you did, please hit that like and follow for more, and I'll catch you on the next one.